Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a kind of vintage effect to your photos. So for my year nine photography group who are doing nightmares, you will find this really handy because you can make just any picture look horror like um, somehow relating to nightmares. So I thought since, you know, you might find it hard to take certain pictures, most of us can go out on a walk still with this whole coronavirus thing. So you should be able to get, you know, I'm thinking maybe something, maybe something like a field, but you can do this with literally anything. You could do this with a portrait, just like of yourself or um, anything. You might want to create, recreate like a traditional vintage photo. So um, I'm going to copy the image address because I'm uh, just finding an image online. So you could definitely just try this with any pictures online if you wanted to just play around with the editing. You know, you don't really want to go for something like very pretty looking, or maybe you do, maybe you want to go for something typically pretty looking and make it look uh, kind of creepy. I mean, like corn uh, fields, maybe it would work with wheat fields. Um, I've seen in a lot of horror films, so that would also work well. So I'm going to load L, but if you've got your own photos and you would uh, open image and find them on your laptop or your phone or whatever you're using. So I'm just going to load that, create a new picture. I was trying to open it in my other um, image. So there's lots of, I mean, really just play around with all of these different effects, but you've got adjust where you can make something black and white. You can undo that. Inverting looks quite cre creepy sometimes, but it's not it's not that much. If you, if you just literally un invert it and that's it, then maybe it's not, you're not really doing much to it. You can also play around with the vibrance of the picture. So you could already start to take out the vibrance, um, but you're not gonna do this all manually. There's a lot of things to help you. You've also got sharp and clarity on your photo. If you needed to do any, uh, anything to actually help your photo. You've also got a vignette here so you can just slightly darken the edges or lighten the edges and that can work nicely for making something look older as if the um, image has been just kind of accidentally bleached after a while. Now these are the kind of things you might want to use. So you've got effects here and you've got one that says too old and then within that it gives you all of these different effects as well. So you can um, maybe make it look kind of sepia um, and it's totally up to you what you decide to go for. It's not, so it's not quite the same as just making it black and white or just changing the tone and obviously a lot of it's done for you which is helpful. So I'm going to go with that one, Sampy. Um, again we've got more things here, we've got retouched in anything. This is really handy if you did, if there was something in the picture that you didn't want, maybe in the sky, you can see how I just clicked on that and it's kind of blended out that uh, part of the tree. Could do it here as well. Ah, if that happens and you does it wrong, you just go undo. But it likes to pick out from the edge, so I'd have to make that smaller. I mean, I don't really want to do this. I'm just showing you how you can adjust it. Like, let's say there was a little spot or something in the in the sky or wherever, and you didn't want it. Um, you've also got text, so you could think about adding text, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but overlays are really good. You can get dust, like make it look dusty. Or I think there's a sort of grunge effect or something. Um, but dust is good. Now it won't really look like much on these pictures. It's not really showing us much at all. But let's uh, I'll click on that, and it's going to add this extra layer. So you can see it's created this dust, and you can change how transparent that is. So that's what it looked like originally. And I'm just toggling here for how much I want that effect, and also. If you click here, it's automatically automatically put it on screen, but you could also try, okay, multiply doesn't work. Overlay, darken. I mean, sometimes darken will work for something. It just depends. Lighten, uh, colored burn, soft light. So 
it will automatically put it on the screen but you can you can try whatever you want with that um i think you can even do multiple effects i'm not sure i think if we go add yeah if we go add it's added that one as well and again maybe we just want that slightly but it's really made it look i mean that might be too much that would be cool if you sort of kind of overlapped it with something it sort of looks like it's an emulsion print or, or something like that so um totally up to you how much you want to do let's say i did want to add that on a lot but then i can do something like the brush tool i'm not clicking on the actual image that's why um i'll hang on cut and we can draw the cut out okay um, I don't know if it's going to work. No. Nope. Oh, I see. It's just literally keeping certain bits of the photo. I don't know. You could do something like that. I know it's a bit weird. No, I don't like that. So let's undo. But the brush tool is handy that kind of thing if you just wanted to show something in particular I'm not too sure how many times it undoes there's a really loud helicopter in the background um, right so with the text now I'm not actually going to type in text but I'm going to hand draw text on I'm just using my mouse but maybe you've got something uh, or you can draw on your screen or something like that I'm going to use the pen tool and you can use different effects so I'm going to try sketching I'm going to make it look creepier by adding something like I don't know I'm kind of imagining this is some really older old photo and someone scratched in help just like if you zoomed in you can of course zoom in and zoom out out of these things i'm not actually too worried that this picture is slightly pixelated because it kind of works with this you can make stuff purposely look grainy or old so you could even write that again and if you oh no i don't want to write that again i could actually possibly Oh, see I've written onto the actual layer of the photo so ideally actually I want to go add empty layer so now if I add help if I wanted to repeat that I can go on here and I can duplicate the layer so I've duplicated that same thing of course it's gone over exactly the same place but if I now go on the move tool and I move it you'll now see that I've got the same thing I mean I don't know why you would necessarily want to repeat it quite like that but that might save you time doing certain things if you want to set duplicate the same picture again I want to rotate this there we go if you grab onto that you can rotate it if I just zoom out I'm just zooming in and out by pressing control plus and control minus on my screen but yeah that's changed that picture quite a lot and it was really just a simple picture it wasn't particularly skillful or anything literally anyone could take that picture on your phone even if it's bad quality maybe you've got low megapixels or something but most phones are pretty good now anyway so yeah play around with that with lots and lots of different things and there's loads more you can do on there loads of different effects but that's just a really simple one that will easily fit your theme nightmares pretty much no matter what it is and you could do this with any of your photos that you've taken for um, for the project so far